Hey guys, just to walk you through a campaign that I made here in Apollo, it's a closer follow-up sequence. So let's say that I meet someone and I'm gonna show you a clear example. Uh, during a first call, so I send them a cold email, right? They respond to my cold email. We meet in a Zoom room. I give them the clear presentation about my company. The This sequence that I'm gonna demonstrate today is what happens after this. So, okay, we just hang up. Um, we concluded that I'm going to send the person an email and that person's going to check the email and hopefully decide positively to go with my service. Um, this campaign here is, yeah, well, is the actual email, right? So first one uh, explains what I do pretty clearly. I'm not going to go like in details what it says, but it's like, hey, that's the team that's going to work for you. Here are the testimonials. Here are the results. Here's the next step. Here's this. Here's that. This is the first email that I send. It's sent instantly um, after my meeting. going to show you how. This here uh, is like a reminder of the first email because I think this is uh, just a bug here. I think this, uh, this first email is quite powerful, so just decided to resend it. Obviously, this is constantly subject to change. The third, so like that's day one, right? That's day two, just a quick reminder. Did you get my email? Uh, actually, that could be got my last email. That could be it. And day four, so that's two days after. Got time to reflect on our last call. We talked about cold email and how top leads could help company generate three plus meetings a month with 1.5 uh, MTM scalability. And day four, there's another one, another reminder. And day seven, which I just showed that one, that's another reminder. And notice how I space the days. This one is day 11. So uh, respectively, one day difference between first and second, two days difference between second and third, three days difference between third and fourth, and four days difference between uh, fourth and fifth. So that's how I space the emails. It's just a reminder, you know, like, hey, did you see the uh, quote or the, the first email I sent you? I think this is essential in a pipeline. Um, I'm gonna add contacts to my pipeline. I can see how many folks there are in my pipeline and at what step I can evaluate also the chances of closing them and so forth. And I think a lot of people, they miss out after their first sales call, you know, they just don't close enough. Um, so that's kind of to loop that up. And normally Apollo is not really made for that, right? It's like, it's just a prospecting tool, but no, it's a good follow-up tool. So um, I'm just going to show you real quick how I would do that. So I'm in Apollo now. Let's take like a, a good rec recent example. So let's see here. That's an actual campaign we have. We're going to check for... Replies. I know that Apollo takes kind of a while to load nowadays, so I'm just not gonna wait to to get the replies. Just gonna go straight up in contact and show you an example of what could be. So let's say that this guy right there, um, Mikhail, was interested um, in dealing with us. What we would do is click Add to Sequence. Add contact in the Apollo sequence and write closer there and sequence this guy. So that's what I would do if I would be interested. My procedure as a closer, when people book meeting in my calendar, um, it's already to, all right, so let's say this guy here. It's already, it's already to have their LinkedIn in there. And there's also the Apollo um, app. So let's say here, uh, I have their LinkedIn, right? So when I, I'm actually on a call with them as the closer in the first call, 
I have their LinkedIn opened. Uh, so basically what I do is I go here, there's the Apollo um, app that's popping on the side. I click on it, here's my bubble. And what I would do, I would just um, sequence and write closer here. Oops. Jobs, close. Mm, well, um, kind of need to actualize this in the Apollo app, but you get the point because they're not fetching my campaign and I can just add a uh, sequence this person to the actual closing campaign. So let's say that there was that one, I would click this and add to sequence it. And why am I showing this here and why that's important is that me as a closer, my calendar is super full. And obviously as a CEO, calendar is super duper full. And what I want is something almost automatic um, to one, classify them in my pipeline and two, follow up with them and three, like had some degree of personalization. I used to do it and most people used to do it manually by opening an email, writing the title or copy pasting. And just these milliseconds, they're super fucking annoying. So why is this system game changing here is that basically i can create um i can in in like the space of two clicks i can add them to this closing sequence and po possibly advance them in my sales pipeline so it's super duper game changing um to be honest so um yeah like i said click the sequence here put them in sequence and send them that so you'll have your pipeline you'll increase your sh your chances of closing and most importantly, you'll remind them of your existence because most of the time people are super busy. Even if you send them the email saying, hey, we spoke together, they just forget about you, you know? And at some point, another video, what I'll show you is that let's say that they got fully out of this uh, sequence that I've shown you today and yet like it logged me out of Apollo. Um, but I would either add sequence to that closing sequence pretty much forever. Okay, so if you go and engage, you, you see your sequences, control F closer, or just search closer here. Obviously you wanna activate it. Um, you could add emails after day 11, right? You could add emails on day 15, day 30, <laughs> day uh, 45. So, and it could kind of serve as some newsletter. Um, yeah, I already have a newsletter and we could add a separate sequence even. Um, and you could add anyone that tells you like, hey, I wanna be part of your newsletter to the sequence. I can get into that later. But basically me, I would add content for my existing newsletter which is about cold email called the contrarian CEO. Maybe I should rename it to, so I was having one that was called the cold one. And what I do, I just copy paste the, the content um, that I did before about cold email. And I would just send them useful stuff, you know, because the message I'm getting, if they're not replying to me after these few, few hot days, you know, because my sales cycle is 14 days, I absolutely need to close them in that, uh, amount of time, uh, mostly for, for KPI uh, purposes. Um, but like, if they don't, I get the message that it's not the good moment for them, right? So what do you do once you have this message? Well, uh, you keep on sending them valuable information. So you remind them of your existing, plus you add, you, uh, add value uh, when it comes to cold email and assert your authority and your dominance on the, the topic that you uh, present to, to them. In my case, it's cold email. So I just wanted to share you this uh, little hack here that you can do with Apollo. Hope that you could appreciate.